thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce Hot Rod Lincoln. Hot Rod Lincoln will be assisting me. He's also known as a peer professor, and he uh, helps me out immensely in all of my teaching and everything that happens. Shown in the bottom left is Mia Solo, who is his grandmother, and she passed away very recently, so we're dedicating this little talk to her. So it's, this is what uh, we'll be talking about. First of all, scale. This is kind of the theme of this. How similar are Great Pyrenees and polar bears? And on the left, you'll see a, a polar bear, which was in a motel where Terry and I were staying in Churchill, uh, Manitoba, fairly recently. And uh, those polar bears can reach about 11 feet high. On the right is Mia, standing with my six-foot, two-inch uh, son. And so their, uh, their heights are about a factor of two difference. In terms of weights, the male polar bears are about eight times heavier than a male Great Pyrenees. The females, it's only about a factor of four. They're about four times greater. However, I should point out that during the season when they are uh, basically kind of quasi-hibernating and they are uh, night eating, they'll be a factor of two smaller in terms of their weight. So that's the kind of idea of the scale. How fast can they run? They can run really fast. Polar bears can run about 25 miles per hour. Here you see Lincoln in my backyard sprinting along. Also probably about 25 to 30 miles per hour. How fast is it with respect to humans? Most of you probably know Hussein uh, Bolt, world record holder sprinter. He can only hit about 27. He would have a hard time outrunning either Lincoln or a polar bear. Okay, in terms of behavior, I want to show you a quick little video here. This is Mia. So this is, uh, you, on the job, buddy, you're working. Uh, <laughs> this is Mia and uh, Lincoln. Lincoln was only about uh, two months old at this point in time. And so you'll see that uh, they, they like to play and goof around. She was actually just as energetic as, uh, as Lincoln in much of the time that, that they had together. He actually was able to live with her for about four years, which is very unusual. Okay, the next one. Another video. Okay, this is another video showing you a little contrast and uh, comparison of <laughs> polar bears and their mamas. And uh, this is not uncommon for these polar bear cubs to ride on their mother's backs, sometimes for very, very long distances. So the spatial part of this, they have to go very, very long distances. And uh, so she's wallowing around in the snow to get cooled off, actually, is what she's doing. And uh, so you can see she really does enjoy the cubs, just as Mia was able to enjoy uh, little Lincoln here. And so they like to play and goof around and do all different kinds of things. And... Uh, play with each other, climbing on each other, nibbling at each other, all kinds of interesting things that they, they all love to do. And finally, let's see if I can get this last one in here real quick. I just want to show you um, polar bears and dogs actually playing together. This is in Churchill, Manitoba. And just to give you an idea as I go off here, that dogs actually can play with polar bears. These are male polar bears in Churchill, Manitoba. So I will stop with that. Thank you very much. <laughs>